そっか Hello, welcome back to another video. This was a requested video for some time now. In this particular video, we will be discussing some archosaurs, but only the ones that looked like theropod, like crocodilians and land crocodilians. If we discussed all the archosaurs, we would probably be here for a couple of hours. Most of the crocodile land like animals were either basal archosauriforms or from the clade Suchia. They mostly consisted of Triassic, Jurassic predators, and even some Cenozoic animals. Archosauriforms is a clade of diapsid reptiles, encompassing archosaurs and some of their close relatives. Early archosauriforms, informally termed Proterosuchians, were superficially crocodile like animals, with sprawling gaits, carnivorous habits, and long hooked snouts. Unlike the bulk of their therapsid contemporaries, Archosauriforms survived the catastrophic end Permian mass extinction. We will discuss some of the biggest archosaurs, from an order of the smallest to biggest of my small list I have. The first predator I will discuss is Postosuchus, meaning crocodile from post. It is an extinct genus of Rawisuchid reptiles that lived in what is now North America during the late Triassic. Postosuchus was a facultative biped. Meaning it could walk on two legs occasionally. It had a highly advanced pelvis and a footed pubis. It also kind of looks like a theropod predator dinosaur, but wasn't a dinosaur at all. It was a hunter, which probably preyed on large, bulky herbivores, like decinodonts, and many other creatures smaller than itself, such as early dinosaurs. Postosuchus kirkpatricki is the biggest species reaching lengths of 5 to 6 meters and 300 kilograms. The second predator is another large one. Sorosuchus galilei is a prehistoric genus of large Loricotton Pseudosuchian archosaurs that was in South America during the late Triassic period. It was a heavy, large, ground dwelling, quadrupedal carnivore, meaning it walked on all fours. It was the apex predator in the Ishigualasto formation. Sorosuchus is known from numerous specimens coming from the Ishigualasto formation. Apart from the holotype, Has a deep, laterally compressed skull. The teeth are large, recurved, and serrated. The skull is wide at its back and narrows in front of the eyes. Skull roof and maxilla are somewhat pitted. The Sarosuchus used its rear teeth to process its prey, avoiding bones because it had a very weak bite for its size. The Sarosuchus hunted a variety of prey, including primitive dinosaurs like e a r a p t o r And synapsids like Ishigualastia and Probolecidon. The size of this reptile was about 7 meters and 590 kilograms. Another animal was a large reptile predator. Smok is an extinct genus of large carnivorous archosaur. It lived during the latest Triassic period. The only species is Smok Wawelski, after the Wawel dragon, a dragon from Polish folklore. And was named in 2012. It is larger than any other known predatory archosaur from the late Triassic or early Jurassic of Central Europe. The relation of smoke to other archosaurs has not yet been thoroughly studied. It may be a Rawi Sushid, Presto Sushid, Pseudo Sushian, part of the crocodilian lineage of archosaurs. This animal looks like a theropod dinosaur compared to its cousins like Postosuchus. It was big and hunted large prey like giant decinodonts. The size of this animal was estimated at 6 meters and possibly over 1,000 kilograms. The next land crocodile was one from the age of mammals. Dentaneosuchus is a genus of large bodied Sebacid crocodilomorph from the Middle Eocene of Isle and Railmont, France. Originally described as a t a c h o s a u r u s crassiparatus, the discovery of additional remains led to it being placed in a separate genus in 2023, was tentatively recovered as the basalmost member of the family s e b a c i d i Because of this, d e n t a n e o s u c h u s could play an important part in deciphering the origins and dispersal of European s e b a c i d s 
As their presence on the continent, far away from their primary range in South America, is still not entirely resolved. One of the biggest Cebacids, but also the biggest terrestrial carnivore of Cenozoic Europe. Dentaniosuchus would have been an apex predator of its environment, capable of taking large prey such as Lophiodon. The size would have been anywhere between three to four meters and 1,000 kilograms. Estimates might put it at seven meters. Razanandrongobe sakalavi is a genus of carnivorous Xyphosuchian crocodiliform from the Middle Jurassic of Madagascar. It contains the type and only species Razanandrongobe sakalavi, named in 2004 by Simone Maganuko and colleagues based on isolated bones found in 2003. The premaxilla and lower jawbone had been discovered as early as 1972 but were not described until 2017 by Cristiano Dal Sasso and colleagues. It was the largest member of the Nodosuchia and may have occupied a predatory ecological niche similar to theropods. The size for this giant was about seven meters and 1,000 kilograms. Prestosuchus is an extinct genus of Pseudosuchian in the group Loricata, which also includes Sarasuchus and Pastosuchus. It has historically been referred to as a Rawisuchian and was the defining member of the family Prestosuchidae, though the validity of both of these groups is questionable. Rawisuchia is now considered paraphyletic and Prestosuchidae is polyphyletic in its widest form. The holotype of Prestosuchus, Chinakensis, was discovered by Wilhelm Rau alongside the holotype of Rawisuchus tiradentes in the Santa Maria Formation at the paleontological site Chiniqua. Prestosuchus probably walked on four legs like crocodilians, but unlike crocodilians, it had an upright semi-erect stance with limb bones placed below the hips. Prestosuchus had a deep skull and sharp serrated teeth. It was a fast running animal with powerful legs. Prestosuchus was a predatory reptile that likely ate small dinosaurs and etosaurs. This was one of the biggest non-land dinosaur predators, ever even bigger than the biggest land mammal, predators like Deodon and the short-faced bears. The size of this animal was around 6.7 meters and 1,600 kilograms, regarded as the biggest Triassic land predator, at least one of them. Fasolasuchus is an extinct genus of Loricatan. Fossils have been found in the Los Colorados formation of the Ischigualasto Villa Union Basin in northwestern Argentina that date back to the Norian stage of the late Triassic, making it one of the last Rawisuchians to have existed before the order became extinct at the end of the Triassic. It would have hunted prosauropods and other large animals. The size for this animal used to be around three tons, but new reconstructions gave it a 1,600 kilogram weight estimate but could have been bigger. It was also seven to eight meters long. This is a basal archosauriform, and Erythrosuchus has a massive head. It is an extinct genus of reptile from the early Triassic of South Africa. Remains have been found from the Synognathus assemblage zone of the Beaufort group in the Karoo of South Africa. Erythrosuchus was the largest erythrosuchid, but apart from its size, was largely similar in appearance to other related genera. Erythrosuchus hunted large animals, mostly decinodonts like Canamyria. This predator is also thought to have been a good swimmer. It had a large head and comparatively short neck. In the late Triassic, the ecological niche left by Erythrosuchus was filled by archosaurs, including Saurosuchus, Postosuchus, and Fasolosuchus. It is probably the heaviest Triassic land predator at around 1,700 to 1,800 kilograms, also about five meters. Barinosuchus was the biggest known non-dinosaur land predator ever. In reference to where the type material was found is an extinct genus of Cebacid mesoeucrocodilian. Cebacosuchians, it was a terrestrial carnivore equipped with xiphodont teeth, remarkably similar to those of theropods which are compressed laterally, curved facing backwards, and with serrated borders. This dentition made it a formidable predator. 
This implies a superior weight than any of the large carnivorous mammals. And even considering a margin error of 50% would still make it larger than any terrestrial mammalian predator of the Cenozoic. The size of this killer was around 1,720 kilograms and seven meters. That's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you like this content, make sure to subscribe and share more videos on the way. Take care.